everyone. So in the last video, we went through unboxing the Rococo SmartSuit Pro 2 and the Rococo Smart Gloves. And in this video, we're going to go through downloading Rococo Studio, updating the firmware of your SmartSuit and your Smart Gloves, and setting up the Wi-Fi for those. We'll also be going through some networking best practices to make sure that you can get the best from your mocap gear. If this is your first time setting up your Rococo hardware, please do not skip through this video. It contains some essential pointers on getting your system set up correctly, as well as some troubleshooting advice if you run into problems. Okay, let's get into it. Rococo Studio is our proprietary software that you'll use to create mocap with your Rococo hardware. It is free and it can be downloaded from our website rococo.com. Once I've downloaded and installed the software, I'll open up Rococo Studio and I'll be prompted to create a Rococo ID. I set up a temp email to go through this process with you. When you hit sign up, a browser window will open and here again you'll click sign up. Once you provide some basic info, you'll get a confirmation email. Click verify. Once we've done that, we'll be prompted to sign into our account. Once we're logged in, you can click on your team. You are automatically assigned a starter plan when you sign up for the first time, which is completely free. On the starter plan, you can record mocap using your SmartSuit Pro, SmartSuit Pro 2, and Smart Gloves. In order to use live streaming, which you would use to live stream your mocap into programs like Unity, Unreal, iClone, or other CG software suites, you would need to upgrade your plan to the Plus or Pro subscription. However, we do offer a 30-day free trial if you just want to try out these features. We'll cover live streaming in a later video in this series. Also, if you want to use our facial motion capture solution using an iPhone 10 or higher, you'll need to purchase a face capture seat. More pricing info can be found on our website, or you can click on the link in the description below. But in this video, we're just going to be setting up the SmartSuit Pro 2 and Smart Gloves, so we don't need any of that stuff. We'll jump back into Rococo Studio, and now we'll click Sign In with Browser, and that should automatically sign you in via a browser window. First, we'll be greeted with some basic information about Rococo Studio. Always make sure to share your creations with the Made with Rococo hashtag, sign up for our Discord, and check out our Instagram because we're always running challenges and contests and giving away cool prizes. You'll also be able to find links to set up documentation and tutorials. So this is the main dashboard and we'll go through it briefly. If we click on the button in the top right, you can see what account you're logged in on as well as get to some other studio settings. Here you can find things like UI scale, and you can also adjust the timing settings on calibration and recording. If you click on the question mark, you can find links to documentation, video tutorials, and keyboard shortcuts. Next to the question mark, you'll find the device manager, and here is where we'll actually set up our new Rococo hardware. Next to the device manager, you can find out your connectivity status and how recently you synced to the cloud. In the top left, you can find where all your projects are stored, you can find sample projects, and you can also find our motion library, which is Rococo's motion capture marketplace. Here you can purchase motion capture assets or find over 100 free demo assets in case you're tired of using the same old Mixamo animations. So before we go through the setup, I just wanna talk about networking really quick. We highly recommend using a dedicated Wi-Fi router when you're creating your mocap. And by that, I mean a router that is not connected to the internet and you use solely for the purpose of creating your mocap. That's for a couple of reasons. One, it guarantees that no one else will be on your network. If someone is on the same network that you're using to create mocap watching 4K YouTube videos, it means you have less Wi-Fi bandwidth to use for your motion capture. And that means your motion capture will suffer. The second reason is that it allows you to put your Wi-Fi router in the same room as your computer in your suit. Wi-Fi can get weaker if it has to travel through walls or ceilings or floors or anything like that. So by having a dedicated Wi-Fi router, you can guarantee that router is close to where you're doing your mocap. If we jump into the real world for a second, you can see that I have my router set up right next to both my computer and the space where I do my mocap. 
Finally, if you're using a dedicated router, you can get a dual band router, and that gives you access to both the 2.4G band and the 5G Wi-Fi band. And the ability to switch back and forth between those bands can be really helpful. Sometimes there'll be a lot of 2.4G traffic in the area you're working in, so you wanna to switch to 5G. Generally, we find that 5G is a better band on which to record mocap, so that also allows you to have the 5G band. If we look at my Wi-Fi settings, you can see that I have my network set up that I have both an Ethernet cable connected to my computer and my dedicated offline Wi-Fi network. That means that anything I'm doing online will go through my Ethernet cable and my Wi-Fi network is completely free to focus on just mocap. If you don't have the ability to set up both an ethernet connection and a Wi-Fi connection on the same computer, we just recommend jumping over to your dedicated offline Wi-Fi router whenever you're creating mocap. And that way, just in those times when you're creating mocap, you can get the best possible Wi-Fi bandwidth. Finally, having a dedicated router means that you can travel with your entire Wi-Fi setup and not have to rely on some on-site Wi-Fi, especially if you're doing productions that are away from your home environment. For all of these reasons, we really recommend that you use a dedicated Wi-Fi router when you're recording mocap or the Rococo system. I cannot overstate how important that can be to getting better quality mocap. Okay, so now let's set up our SmartSuit Pro 2. First, I'll plug in my battery to the suit. Your suit needs to be powered for this process. Then I'll connect the USB-C cord to the hub at the back of my suit, and then to my computer while Rococo Studio is open. Once I've plugged in, if this is the first time setting up your smart suit, you may see a notification to update your firmware. I can either click this notification directly, or I can exit out and I can click on the device manager in the top right corner. Here you can see our suit that's connected via USB. I'll double click on the suit, and the first thing that you should do is go to that firmware tab and make sure that your firmware is up to date. If it isn't, click update, and note that it is very important to not disconnect your suit while you update your firmware. And the suit may disconnect and connect several times during this process, and the process can take anywhere from one to five minutes. And then once your suit is done updating, you are safe to continue setting up. You can go to the info tab and change the name of your hardware if you want, and then next we'll go to the Wi-Fi tab. I'll be connecting to this Alex Wi-Fi 5G, and I like to actually be connected to the Wi-Fi network I'll be using while I set up. You can either click the drop-down or click the little magnifying glass search button to search for Wi-Fi. Once it's done searching, you can click the drop-down and select the Wi-Fi you wanna use. I'll then enter my password, and I'll select my IP receiver. So normally you should just be able to select the top option and be fine. However, depending on your network setup, there might be multiple options here. One method is just to select each one in the dropdown. However, you can also find your IP address by opening up the command prompt and typing in IP config. This will display information for any of your connections. Here you can see my ethernet connection, but I'm interested in my Wi-Fi connection specifically the IPv4 address. In this case, it's 192.168.50.235, which matches the IP receiver in Rococo Studios, so we're fine here. Finally, you can click through these advanced settings, although normally you don't really need to touch these. Most Wi-Fi networks that require a password are using a WPA2 security type, but we can also make sure to select the frequency band here. So now we can just hit apply you will see this little notification that your suit is now connected via Wi-Fi. And if we go and click back to the main page of our device manager, you can see that we now have both a wired connection to our suit and a Wi-Fi connection to our suit. Now, if for some reason your suit is still not connecting after having followed all of these steps, there's a couple things that could be causing that. The first thing to do is just check to make sure that receiver IP number is correct. So just use IP config in the terminal and double check that you're using the right receiver IP address when you're setting up your Wi-Fi. Second, it's possible that you might have antivirus software set up that is blocking Rococo Studio from accessing your suit's Wi-Fi. So try to turn that off and see if that fixes the problem. Finally, and this is the big one, it's possible that your firewall is preventing Rococo Studio from seeing your suit. This is a very common problem and usually checking this will fix 
90% of connection issues. When you install Rococo Studio, you should be given the opportunity to add Rococo Studio as an exception to your firewall. But if you didn't see this, or for some reason it didn't happen, you may need to go in manually and either disable your firewall or add Rococo Studio as an exception to your firewall. Again, this firewall issue accounts for many of the problems that we see where Rococo Studio is not recognizing your suit over Wi-Fi, even though you've set everything up correctly. So if you run into this issue, please investigate your firewall and we'll have links to a more detailed documentation about the firewall in the description below. Now that our suit is connected, let's set up our smart gloves. We'll unplug the USB-C cable from our suit and we'll plug it into the USB-C port at the back of the smart glove hub. Make sure that the cable is firmly seated into the hub so it does not disconnect during the setup process. Once you connect, another pop-up should appear if you have to update your gloves. You can update your firmware the same way you did your suit's firmware. Again, do not disconnect your glove and just let the process complete. Your glove may disconnect and connect several times for a process that could take up to five minutes, but should usually be shorter than that. Once the update is done, we'll set up our glove with Wi-Fi the same way we did our suit. Once we've done that, we'll see a notification that our glove is now connected via Wi-Fi. I will unplug that glove and do the same process for the second glove. So I always recommend setting up the suit and gloves separately, especially the first time that you're doing setup. But if you're using a glove ready version of the SmartSuit Pro 2, you won't need to set up your gloves Wi-Fi every time if you change the Wi-Fi on the suit. After all, the gloves are plugging in directly to your suit's Wi-Fi hub, so they're gonna run off your suit's Wi-Fi setup. But that being said, it's just best practice to always try to set these up individually, set up your suit, and your gloves by themselves just to make sure they have the right firmware and that they have the right Wi-Fi. I just generally find it the best way to do it. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to get into your Rococo SmartSuit Pro and then put on your gloves with your suit. And in the video after that, I'll be going through how to actually record motion capture and use our essential cleanup filters to get the best performance from your mocap gear. See you in the next video.